Good morning, everyone. My camp name is Magnificat, and I am so excited to be back here with you all at St. Therese's Camp. And I'd like to officially and cordially welcome you to our very, very first Spiritual Morning Awesome Programming, also known as SNAP, for this Arise Week. We've been praying for all of you for a very, very long time, and we are so excited that each of you are here. So throughout this week of Arise, each morning we're going to be focusing on a different luminous mystery as part of our Spiritual Morning Awesome programming. So we're going to go ahead and we're just going to kickstart it right now with the first luminous mystery, which is the baptism of Jesus in the Jordan. So if you have a Bible, you can go ahead and open it up to Matthew chapter 3, verses 13 through 17, and I'm just going to go ahead and read it right now. So the baptism of Jesus. Then Jesus came from Galilee to John at the Jordan to be baptized by him. John tried to prevent him, saying, I need to be baptized by you, and yet you are coming to me? Jesus said to him in reply, Allow it now, for thus it is fitting for us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he allowed him. After Jesus was baptized, he came up from the water, and behold, the heavens were opened for him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and coming upon him. And a voice came from the heaven, saying, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. One time I was babysitting this little girl, and we were doing a reading, and she had gotten something right or something like that. And I remember looking at her, and I said, Alessandra, you are very, very smart. And she stopped, and she smiled, and she looked at me with her big brown eyes, and she said, And God loves me so much. And I remember it really stopped me in my tracks because A, I wasn't expecting her to say that, but B, because God was using this little girl to speak to me about the truth of who I am and of the deepest reality of who we are as beloved children of God the Father. So if we take a look a little bit at the background history of this gospel passage, at this point in Jesus' life, his life has been pretty hidden. Um, It's been pretty quiet. A lot of the stories that we know about Jesus have not yet happened. But this moment of his baptism by John is sort of the kickstart of his mission. So almost immediately after this baptism is when he begins preaching and begins healing people and begins doing all those things, again, that we're a little bit more familiar with. So again, Jesus was pretty like, not a lot of people knew about him at this point, but a lot of people knew about John because John had been preparing the way. And so Jesus comes to the river, and I imagine that there are probably lots and lots of people around. And again, this is the moment, like his mission is about, like Jesus' mission is about to begin. And God the Father can say anything he wants. God the Father can be like, this is my son, like he's going to heal people. He's going to save you from your sins. Like he's going to raise people from the dead. He's going to rise from the dead. He can say whatever he wants. But what is it that Jesus, that God the Father says to Jesus? He says, this is my beloved son whom I love, with him I am well pleased. God the Father chooses to speak to the identity of Jesus, and he doesn't identify Jesus just by his actions, but he identifies Jesus by his love for him, as his child, as being loved, and that he's proud of him. And I think that this is really, really important for us. I think a lot of times in life, it's really easy for us to be able to get caught up in different labels and in different ways that we can identify ourselves. Maybe we identify ourselves by what our parents think about us or our friends or our classmates or our teachers. Maybe we're like really good at sports and so we put a lot of our identity in that. And we have a lot of God-given talents that are really, really amazing that we, and that we need to use, right? But at the end of the day, that's not the deepest part of who we are. The deepest part of who we are is that we, again, are so incredibly loved by God the Father. And the same thing that God the Father said to Jesus at his baptism He speaks over us in our baptism as well. And so no matter what happens, nothing and no one can ever take away this identity that God the Father has given us. Trophies and accolades can sort of fall to the wayside. Our friendships and our relationships may change in life. But this deepest identity again of who we are as loved by God and as being his child is something that can never be taken away is something that will never fade away. And we see the Holy Spirit so beautifully in this passage as well. And we can really have the Holy Spirit come and speak to us too and say, arise. 
Jesus's mission began again almost immediately after this baptism. And so he was, he, he hears his identity. He hears who he is and he goes and he moves. He begins that preaching. He begins bringing about the kingdom of God. And so how are we called as well? How are we going to be able to listen to the Holy Spirit tell us to arise, to arise in the deepest identity of who we are again as loved children of the Father and to bring that to the entire world? You and I both have a mission. We all have a purpose in life and we need to go forth boldly, listening to the Holy Spirit telling us arise, arise maybe from the lies of our identity to arise from um, the things that we place our identity in that aren't the fullness of who we are to arise and to go forth and to be like that little five-year-old girl and to remind the whole world about the love that God the Father has for us. So we're just going to go ahead and just ask the Holy Spirit to, um, to guide us in that, in this ending prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Come, Holy Spirit. Lord, I just ask that you speak to each and every single one of our hearts right now, that you speak and that you reveal to us again our identity that you reveal to us what it is that you spoke to us at our baptism as being your child, as being loved, and of you being proud of us. I pray today, Lord, that you just send your Holy Spirit upon us with a strengthened identity in who you are, that we may arise and that we may arise to the mission that you have called us to, that we may arise to be able to bring your love and to be your hands and feet to the very ends of the earth. And Mama Mary, you know your identity so well, and so we ask that you please intercede for us, that we may also know who we truly are in the Father's eyes. We pray all these prayers, Jesus, in your most holy name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless y'all.